Hi, this is Karen Harding here on the rooftop of the Heritage Hotel. And there's a rooftop pool there with people playing in it. And uh, we have a little selection of plastic plants around here. Not very many, we've got about six of them. But I was just talking to you in the other video about making use of the rooftops. We have a large selection of flat rooftops over multiple stories of this luxury apartment block that is a hotel block and also has commercial premises in it. And the city is full of uh, huge buildings uh, for residential and also commercial because this is right in the heart of the Auckland CBD. I suggest that we do things with these roofs and urban agriculture, also known as urban gardening and urban farming, provides a way to bring nature into the city, give us a sense of fresh food. So while, you know, we might not want to do the gardening ourselves, the thing is we can pay someone to do that and have ready access to it. It'll be so much cheaper. I love hothouse grapes. We could have our own hothouse here and the prices would be so much better. And you, you can integrate it, you could have aerobic systems, you could use the Dr. Crinkley method, you could do hydroponics, aeroponics, integrate the system uh, with fish for nutrients and a closed ecosystem. There's so much we could do with our urban environment. And the thing is we need to, because it is just not sustainable to have a city where we have to truck everything in. We need more ready access to things and more variety. And we are willing to pay for it. And then in, in the more deprived areas, uh, they can be custom priced for what suits their needs or for the food bank services. So thank you for your time. And I hope you enjoy the blog. And I look forward to persuading you to include some urban gardening where you can. So even when you're in the apartments up there that don't even have a balcony and only have the one opening window which you can't fit a planter box to, there are some techniques where you could still grow a few little things in a pot at home, you know, some tomatoes or something in a really styly looking way. So all this can be done styling, just the elegance of it, I mean a city brimming with life and plants. Imagine if you know, you had fruit trees in parks. You were hungry, you could just have an apple or a fijoa. You know, I know that someone has to probably pick them up if no one's going to eat them. I used to have that job having to pick up all the grapefruits because no one was eating all the grapefruits when I was a kid. But we might eat them. And there's a lot of people in the city. So we've got a population of over 5 million and more than a million people in Auckland. Let's feed us, let's use our buildings and enjoy our our lives make livable cities. The thing about adding plants in is that you're going to add in more oxygen. They're going to take the carbon dioxide, they're going to purify the air, purify the pollution. Uh, it, it, it's also communal activity and it, it's nice to get your vegetables local. It's why people like to have their local fruit and veggie shop, which we don't really have in the city. Like there is one um, it's an Indian dairy that sells a range of Indian products and I buy my fruit and vegetables there on Hobson Street and they get for me the hothouse grapes that I like. I don't know where they get them from and I like plums and fruit. It's here to build up a relationship with, with someone in a corner store to, um, get, to sort of get things for you. And I've lived here in this, in this complex here at the Heritage Hotel for over 20 years so I've been able to do that. Because um, it is... It's interesting because when you, when you live here, or at least for me, I kind of like to do everything here. So I, have, I haven't driven my car since Christmas Day and today is uh, the 28th of April for the battery's flat. So I'm not going to go to the supermarket, that'll be a hassle, you have to get a lot of bags of stuff. I like to, I don't like to cook so I like to get food in, but I like to have things that I can eat. Bowl of grapes, bowl of fruit. You know, so the access to that kind of thing is really important. And 
what I have noticed is that there has been a, a, a growth and, and people getting orders here at the hotel because there is kitchens and, and various apartments here of the sort of my food bag and that comes with these raw vegetables and a recipe about what you're going to do with them. So people are quite happy to buy them in a box and have them delivered to your home and in fact we can do that here by growing the vegetables here on the rooftop gardens of the hotels and on uh, the apartment buildings. Singapore's doing a lovely job of that, you know, really integrating the city to be an edible garden. And they have different challenges than we do. I mean, we have a lot of land um, in New Zealand and they're, they import 90% of their food. They're, they're landlocked, so they're not going to go to be acquire any more land. But there's so much land's getting eaten up with housing, with the urban sprawl. So what I would just like to see is to bring healthy food into the city. And it also creates jobs. It's the wonderful thing about urban gardening, and it is relaxing, and um, it helps relieve stress. So, thank you.